Hey guys, it's Obsolete here back with another video. The Calamity mod adds tons of new accessories to the game. There are amazing ones such as Heart of Elements, which summons numerous elementals to fight for you. The Counter Scarf, which allows you to dash and dodge enemies' attacks. Or the Burden Breaker, which allows you to travel very quickly outside of boss fights. However, not all accessories are like the ones that have tons of use like those, and some of them fall very short compared to the other ones you can use. Today we are going over the most useless Terraria Calamity mod accessories. A quick note before we start the list is just about every accessory has some sort of niche use, meaning no accessory is absolutely useless. But these accessories, I feel, don't offer a whole lot compared to other accessories you could use at the time, which are more powerful or have more useful benefits and are not only just useful in very rare situations or with very specific gear. Lastly, all these opinions are made with the assumption that Revengeance and Death Mode are enabled, and this is just my opinion, so if you think another accessory should have made the list, comment down below, and with that being said, let's go ahead and get into our fifth spot. Taking the fifth spot on our list is the Amita's Pendant. This item is a 33% chance drop from the Giant Clam, and when equipped, three Prism Shards rain from the sky every two seconds, with one of the shards being larger and also homing onto enemies. If all the shards hit, it will deal 60 damage every two seconds, and if only the homing shard hits, it is 30 damage every two seconds. The damage is pretty lackluster even for an early game accessory. There are numerous items later in the game that have similar functions with raining projectiles on a timer, like the Void of Extinction for example, but those have additional effects such as increased damage and stats, which make them much more viable than this item. The raining projectiles by itself doesn't seem to be worth the slot to me. Moving on to the 4th spot on our list, we have the Giant Tortoise Shell. This item is dropped by Giant Tortoises in the Hard Mode Jungle and decreases your movement speed by 10% and reflects 25% of damage taken to attackers causing enemies to take damage when they hit you, and it also grants 8th defense. What makes this item bad is a few things, first being the decreased movement speed, 10% is a lot of movement speed to lose, and even more so for only 8th defense in hard mode. I also don't really think that 25% damage reflection is all that great either, if you get hit for 200 HP for example, only 50 damage will be dealt back to the attacker, which when hard mode bosses have over 50,000 HP, 50 damage really doesn't matter. And with Adrenaline being such a core mechanic of the mod and many bosses fights relying on high mobility and not taking damage, plus the insanely high damage of most bosses, I just don't really see a situation where you would choose this item over any mobility accessory, as it doesn't offer much value considering bosses will still likely kill you in the same amount of time. Taking the third spot on our list is the Trinket of Chi. This item can be found in the surface or underground shrine that is generated on world generation. This item when equipped and the player has stopped moving and attacking for 2 seconds, the player will then receive a 50% damage buff to all weapons and take 15% reduced damage from all sources. The moment the player moves or attacks again, the bonus will go away. The problem with this item is while the bonuses you get are actually quite powerful, I can't really think of a whole lot of times during boss fights that I can just sit still for 2 seconds, or would want to, Adding to that, I imagine with some weapons it would actually deal less damage per second to do one empowered strike by waiting the two seconds and not moving with this item than to just keep on shooting or attacking normally. I think this item could be really good if you were able to keep the buff if you were not moving but still attacking, but because this buff goes away after attacking and moving, I just don't really see a reason why to use this versus other accessories unless you have a special build for it. This item basically has the same problem as Rogue Class Stealth Strikes, which most of the time it's better to keep spamming projectiles than to stop attacking and wait for yourself to come back up for a stealth strike. Taking the second spot on our list is Iron Boots. This item allows the player to fall faster in liquids. That is literally all it does. This item could have some use if you need to get down to the abyss quickly I suppose, but as it is found in Shadow Chest in the Abyss, the player will already have decent gear at this point and I just don't really think it's worth the accessory slot for that singular use. I can't really think of a time I really needed to fall faster in the abyss or water in general. I would instead use something that increases my light level, breathing time, or offered increased stats. Now to be fair, this item is later used to craft the abyssal diving suit, which is actually a pretty useful item that provides good benefits for exploring the abyss late game, but that item is post Moonlord, and as this item is post Skeletron, I really don't think I would use this unless I wanted it for its modifier and I had no other accessories to use. And lastly, taking the first spot on our list, we have the Magic Scarf and Hat. I actually didn't know this accessory existed until researching for this video, but this accessory turns you into a snowman. And if you happen to get hit by a demon, voodoo demon, or red devil, you lose your snowman's nose for 10 minutes. This item is actually sold by the Archmage, which moves in after Cryogen is defeated. So for the price of one platinum coin, you can become a snowman whenever you want, which is kind of neat and cool, 
but not super useful for defeating bosses or anything other than being a snowman. There is however one single use to this accessory other than just being a snowman, which is that it actually provides cold and heat protection in death mode, but other than that it's basically just a vanity set in the form of a single accessory. That is all for today guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and comment your thoughts down below. Also join my discord, link is in the description down below. See you guys next time.